this is an illusion. Um, so in this, these two pictures, uh, can can somebody uh, raise your hand and tell me what what two colors they see? Pink, it's white. It's like a brownish. Okay, I don't see that, but. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see a nude and a white. Like a nude, like yeah. so. Everybody can agree that they're two different shades of gray. Uh, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this middle portion, and you guys can tell me what you guys see if it changed at all. Oh my God! So now, now this picture look, can look like it looks like this picture the, to the left one, right? Yeah. So this happens because your brain, um, I, your brain knows that there's only one source of light, which is the sun. So when you cover up this portion of light, the brain turns both surfaces into one shade of gray. So that's why it is. Okay, so uh, brain disorders. There are several brain disorders, but to list a few, the most um, common brain disorders are Huntington disease, which is a progressive uh, breakdown of nerve cells and impacts functional movement and cognitive thinking. Another disease is Parkinson's disease, which is a progressive disorder in the nervous system that affects movement. And the third disease is Alzheimer's disease, which is a type of dementia that causes problems with thinking and memory. So uh, this is a video of statistics for uh, 2016 Alzheimer's disease. So my solution. So there also there's a couple solutions that um, are actually have actually been um, been taking effect. The first one is the Obama Brain Initiative. So when Obama came into office, he started an initiative where he um, he devoted uh, I forgot the, the certain amount of money, but it was about uh, millions of dollars into uh, figuring out how to map the human brain so we can understand it better. Um, 
related to how people, we were able to map the human genome. So um, that, that also ties into the Clarity Pro Protocol. So that, the Clarity Protocol is where uh, scientists in Europe have been able to turn brain matter basically essentially invisible so they're able to see neurons firing and basically see how people are thinking and they're able to actually turn uh, a mouse's brain invisible so they could actually see how the mouse is thinking. And then finally, the, uh, my last solution is creating an uh, artificial hippocampus. So the hippocampus is where you, where you store a lot of your memory. So, oh, so, thank you. so this could actually help people with Alzheimer's or dementia or have any other type of brain disorder um, who suffer from long-term or short-term memory loss. And they'll be able to um, upload memories so they, so they could wake up in the morning and they'll remember actually what happened that day or, or what the name of the kids are or the grandchildren are. And this has actually been created in a scientist uh, in the United States that has been able to uh, test this on mouse and they were able to um, test them if the mouse could remember where the food, where the, their food was hidden uh, prior in, in another study. So, the, so the, these three have actually been taken into uh, into effect, and they've been working. So, just um, funding these uh, operations would be proven to help out future brain disorders.